Assalamualaikum and good greetings. So today I'll be watching a video titled "Vegan Apostit Gets Emotional!" Exclamation mark. Muhammad Ali Speaker's Corner. This is by the Muslim Lantern, and I'm not sure. Based on the title, it states "Vegan Apostit." So two two criteria are being mentioned there. One is vegan. So I assume the conversation will have something to do with slaughtering of animal and apostate is he used to be a muslim perhaps without further ado let's watch but like, problem. so 95% of animals in the UK are factory farms so I would consider that torture first I would ask you where did you get the stats from so from DEFRA what is DEFRA? DEFRA is the department for uh, environment food can uh, you show me that? yeah like just, I think you have to just google it yourself yeah like, just tell me where, where is it because I like to, to make sure the, 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 the information is yeah, correct yeah, yeah. you know uh, so, can you, what do you want me to Google exactly? So it's DEFRA. Can you spell that? D E F R A. Okay. Factory farming statistics UK. Yeah, so the vast majority of animals in the UK are factory farmed. So I consider that torture, right? Okay. So Depending on how they are uh, look up, look farming up, them. Okay, look at the top. Look can I assume dog? everyone is doing the same thing? What? Right. So I've been to farms. We, I have a friend that has a farm in Wales. We've been to his farm. No problem. He, he, he has a farm here in Wales, he doesn't abuse animals. So these stats will include him, that the uh, food is coming from there, but he uh, grows them naturally, he doesn't eat from the grass and this and that. That would be part of the 5% or It might be less than that, I don't know. But I, I think it's 95%. You're saying factory food, yeah? Yeah, factory farms, Okay. industrial farming. That doesn't have to do, it doesn't have anything here that says factory? Factory farming, uh, maybe this one. Where, where is the, the stats that you got, like the 95%? And this is about 2013, but let's see. I'm honestly not sure, but I, so I really that, that's why look. Uh, that's why I personally I like to do it because a lot of people pass, pass information. No, but, but you know what's your name? Is it Stuart. Stuart. Look, Stuart. Do you agree with me, the one who makes the claim to provide the evidence? If I make sure, it, yeah. yeah. So uh, if I if I say to you, the Quran is true. You say why? I say look it up. It's not a fair thing to do. You get the point. If I make a claim, well, like I mean, I talk to people on the street all day. I can't like bring around a document with me. No problem. But but I would say uh, no, no. But you told me that if you go search different, it should be on the government website. I didn't it find be. it. You'll find it. But I did. It. You'll find the factory farming statistics. Yes. yes, I will, but 95% the claim that you made is what I was talking about. Anyways, let's move from that. What is the point that you were trying to make? I don't remember. Okay, no problem. <laughs> the, the, point, the point I'm trying to make is this. Look, uh, it all comes back to the idea of subjective and objective morality. If you're coming from a subjective point of view, if you believe morality is subjective... I don't think it does, though. I don't think it matters. So like, are you arguing from a subjective yeah, point of view? so I'm still arguing from your morality. Like, it you can't matter. argue from my morality, you don't yeah, believe I in can. it. Yeah, I can. But I can, I can show you so I can show you consistency. Oh, sure, sure. So let's argue from my morality. Allah says in chapter 16 of the Quran, they created the animals for our food and sustenance. This is my morality. Well, yeah, you know, I guess if you want to do that. So you can ride on them, you can use them. As sustenance is just a general term. I mean, like, I just say, like, say that we were doing that to a child. We were killing a child. I wouldn't, food. because I don't, I don't believe they have an equal moral value. And I don't think you do as well. Not equal, no. Of course. I think they both have so, more value. So it's, a, so it's, a, it's not a uh, correct equivalent to, to have the two in I'm one I'm not drawing an equivalency and drawing a comparison. So like when you're saying that you're okay with doing it to the child, but you're, you're, not, you're not okay with doing it to the child, but you're okay doing it with the animals. Right? Yes. Why? So what's the trait that's different? Exactly. And the answer to the question is coming back God, to the point. Right? To the point I was making is Do our morality. Do for God? Is our morality. Come to that. No problem. Let's talk about that. I'm happy to talk about that. But before that, I'm saying my morality. Actually, no problem. My morality comes from the Quran, right? Based on that, I give the value to different objects. Now when it comes about God. When you ask me, do you have evidence for God? I will turn the table on you. I would say that it's a human innate thing to believe in a creator. That and if you, I'll give right. you evidence. I'll give you evidence for it, but you just let me just finish really, really that. just doesn't work. No problem. But I'm not finished. I'm saying. Okay. okay. And I'll, there are there are evidence and statistics for human beings being born with an innate disposition yeah, to believe. I don't care. Sure, sure. But, I'm not, I'm not, but you, you're asking me evidence for God when yeah. I'm speaking. You're telling me I don't care. Yeah, that is interesting, right? That is interesting. Uh, so I don't feel you're. I don't feel. I don't feel you're being really. The innate thing. I just don't think that's not evidence for God. That's innate, That's just the evidence that we believe. But I've not finished what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mike, I'm gonna ask you a question on Sundan. I'm saying now there are uh, uh, like uh, experiments happening in Oxford University, for example. Fifty-seven academics. Okay. They gathered in Oxford University. They brought children from everywhere around the world, twenty different countries, and they had an innate receptivity to the to the divine, to the creator. They believe in a creator from without being socialized with the community and society. Now my question is: every civilization that existed in human history believed in some form of a higher deity. If you, yeah, okay. My question is. Where does that belief come from? So it could come from a number of different places. Kidding me? What? Should I explain to you what happened? I don't why does every no no no? Why does every human being being born with the same idea of God? Something transcendent well, beyond? No, the children have it. You can look at the studies. They believe in something higher, above, unlike the creation, well, something individual, okay. or powerful. Well, they don't make the human being. So it's a similar. Similar belief about God, not the same, because they when, don't all believe in the same God. When I say when I say similar, similar, yes, I'm saying the attributes that they have. I agree with that. Similar. No, no, but the attributes that they have. Transcendental. No, the attributes that they have is limited to Islam. Like we don't believe God is a man, so they don't say God is a man. We believe Allah is beyond our, our, our comprehension. That's what we believe. We believe Allah is all powerful, above. 
they have these main things that Muslims believe about the Creator. They're born with that in belief. My question is, where does it come from? Where does commonality come from? Okay, so it could be. It could be no one is born saying Jesus is God, yeah, no, no, no. or Brahma is God, or no one says that. Yeah, no, but no one says that Allah is God either. So they, you don't have to say the name, but they have the description. If I well, describe you someone who's if they, yeah, if they describe some weird yes. Barnum statement about some higher power. Then they don't sure. say that. They say higher power above, yeah. who cannot be observed above our comprehension okay. as human beings. Yeah, that's what we believe. Yeah, so I think that, that arises from our ideas and created the universe. So yeah, I think God evolved from our, our tribalistic. God instincts. evolved. Yeah. So uh, the idea of God evolved. So um, so when we're, when we, uh, you want to explain or not? Yeah, sure, sure. So like when we were in tribes and stuff, right? We uh, we didn't have any way of monitoring people, right? So we had like a, there's a huge social pressure to be good in a tribe. He's failing to get what is being said, right? About children that is not yet conditioned, but still they have that idea. It's not about something that is developed afterwards. He's seen as good in the hierarchy of society, right? To be valued in society in a How trial. do you know that? It's a natural selection. No, how do you know that in the history? What? Natural selection does not justify what happened in human history. Natural not saying, selection not is not historical argument. You're saying when you were tribes back in, in the day, yeah. you, you, talk, you believe in evolution, I don't. You're you don't saying in the beginning, I don't believe in evolution. Okay, you believe, you're saying the first, the beginning of evolution, we were tribal uh, and cavemen, correct? Yeah. And you're describing our behavior. Where do you get this idea from? Where do you get what we used to believe from? Natural selection doesn't tell you that. These are just assumptions. Conversations with people about psychology. Conversations with people are telling you what happened billions of years ago? Yeah. How is that? Well, it's just it's a theory. Like you said, you look what you said. It's was, a theory. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What you so said it's not was, just a fact. Okay, okay, okay. okay. That, that, okay that, that works with me. Okay. Say that uh, you said before. You said There's, they have this higher power. You know, they all believe this. How is there any other explanation? I've given you another explanation. No, I, I was asking you for another explanation. Yeah, that was the explanation. No, no. But explanation has to have evidence backing it up. We have a fact right now today, which are born. Yeah, your, your, your explanation doesn't have a fact. I either. didn't make an explanation yet. Yeah. I just asked a question. You said to me, "What evidence do you have for God?" I'm saying it's an innate human thing to be born believing okay. in a creator. So why therefore, is that evidence for Islam? Therefore, why is that evidence no, no, no. I've not said that. You asked me evidence for God, not evidence for Islam. Do you remember your question? You what said to me. But either way, why I, I'm precise. Why is that evidence for God? Sure, I'll explain. Okay. speak. You asked me a question about God. I said to you, if we are born innately believing in a creator, like you're born innately believing you're a human being, yeah. this is an innate belief. I know, I know, in I epistemology, know, I in epistemology okay, is called intuitive it. knowledge. Get to it. No problem. Like, I get it. No intuitive knowledge, get it. Why is that evidence for God, though? It could be evidence for other things. Bro, if you're born, do you know what, do you know what epistemology is? Yes. Why is it? It's the study of knowledge. It's okay. about, it's, it's about how, what, what level, how much evidence of something. Why is the highest level of knowledge? Uh, randomized controlled trials? No, meta analysis of randomized controlled trials. No, why is the highest knowledge? that we can uh, ascertain when it comes to epistemology. I use the scientific hierarchy of evidence, so I don't Scientific know is one of the weakest, it's based on empiricism. Empiricism is based on the in induction, or... induction, and okay, it has yeah, a problem yeah, with induction. Yeah, I, I I'm saying yeah. what is the, highest, the highest form is deduction and yeah. intuitive knowledge. Yeah, okay, yeah. Because we, for example, you cannot prove you exist. You intuitively know that you exist. This is the highest form of knowledge because everything is based on intuitive knowledge. Okay, that you yeah, exist. Yeah, agree, you... Okay, so I'm saying it's intuitive knowledge that there is a creator. We're born with it and I'm given evidence for it. That's I don't enough. have to justify it anymore. That's you have enough. to tell me why you don't believe in it. That doesn't work. Cause like, How does it work? You can have intuitive knowledge of things that we know aren't true. So tell that me, would be... give me an example. Okay. Every, so everyone born are, with something. People are born with an intuitive belief that they're like Jesus or a messiah. No one, who, who the children are born and every yeah. human being born. What is the evidence for that? Can you give me studies? Okay, let's say, Say um, you made a claim about an objective truth, right? And you're using something that you're claiming is universal as a proof for that. Do you think that universality was is the same as an objective truth? Do you think that because something is universal, therefore it is true? No. Objective. I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, if we're all born with a specific belief as human beings, then it has to source from somewhere. And I'm making the claim that we're all believing in an entity. If we all believe in the entity, then I don't have to justify. I've given you another source. Then I don't have to justify the opposite to it. But you there do. Are other explanations for it. Why would you? Why would you? You haven't given it? any evidence for any other explanations. What are, what's the evidence that it's God? Well, I'm saying that the, the data itself, which is the belief in God, is no, the evidence that's that it's God. So it's like, not. Look, if you're saying you're saying the evidence is God, is that people think that there's a God? Not people that, think. That have an innate, innate not, belief that there's a God. Yes. Is it refusing? to even listen or understand what is being said or is it coming from you already decided that anyone with religion is you know not based on uh, legitimate you know uh, methodology of, of coming to conclusion or something that you know when something is clearly said about certain things, it is as if it is not even being considered or trying to be understood. That is quite interesting. Everyone is born with the same innate belief with, the, with certain characters of God. They're all. There's another explanation for why they have an innate belief. In this no. No. Why is that? Because it's That's universal. That's a categorical claim. Then you need evidence for that. No problem. My my evidence What's is. What's the evidence? There's no. Are you other me answer? Right? Okay. My evidence is that there is no other belief like this. And give me one. What? Give me no one belief. belief like give me one other belief that human that beings are born. Exist. That human beings are born innately, believing in that is not correct. 
we exist. What? We exist is correct. No, that, that is correct. That is not correct. You're making the claim that this belief in the Creator is not correct. It could be it could be not correct. It could be for other reasons. I'm making a claim. Give me one thing that we're innately all human beings are born with, believing and it's not correct. It's not correct. You will not find that. And that's the claim I'm making. No, um, I think we have... Uh, well, I mean, how do you verify anything that's like correct? I mean, you've only got one example that is definitely true, which is that we exist. But like, I don't think... I can't even think of any other innate beliefs that are... I gave you one. What are other beliefs that are ubiquitous? Uh, that maybe we're conscious, something like that. But yeah, similar that's, that's to what we exist. Other, similar right? to what we exist. Yeah, like, I can't... I that, can't think that, of we, else, that we... Like, that we... Causality, for example, is something that the human beings are born but believing why would in. I assume just... Causality, you know, cause and effect? What? That's another example, cause and effect. Human beings are born in Italy, and there are studies showing that as well. Believing that there's always a cause for something. If you touch a baby, he doesn't see you, he always looks for a cause, he doesn't believe that this okay. randomly happened. Causality is another example, causality is true, every effect requires a cause. Wow, I don't know about that. That's a, that's a lot in science, science doesn't work without causality. I know it doesn't. What are you talking about? No, no, like evidence, well, evidence right? for causality, if every effect requires no, a cause? You can't provide evidence for that. Sorry? You can't provide evidence. Reality is evidence for that. Any, no. does, give me I one agree. thing. By the way, like, I agree. I think I do believe in it. Why are you arguing against it? Why are you arguing against it? I think our belief in innately is evidence. I really have to go. No problem, you can go. I just don't think that, to summarize, I don't think that just because you have an innate belief in something, I don't think that entails that Everyone it's true. has the same innate belief in certain characteristics and believing in a higher I, entity. I don't, I don't, I just don't, I can't see, like you'd have to formulate that in formal logic. And I, I, I did. Easily. No, you didn't. I did. No, you don't know, for, you, I you did. Don't know what formal logic is. I, I give you now, I'll mean, give you a deductive argument if you want. All right, okay, every human being is innately born yeah. with a belief in a higher entity with the same characteristics. We're only born believing in, in as a universal human being, we're only born believing in things which are true. Therefore, the belief of God that we're born with is true. That's a deductive argument. Uh, yeah, you want to need formality and logic? Yeah, I disagree with the no, you asked me to give you. Okay, you yeah. disagree with our idea. That's uh, your opinion, you know. Anyways, look, it's, it was nice having a discussion uh, with yeah, you. Yeah, there's not enough time to get into the topic. Like, yeah, no problem, no problem, no like, problem, um, no problem. It was nice talking to you. Anyways, my advice is research these issues because if there is a creator outside of veganism, if there is a creator, then there is explanation for eating animals. I just don't. That doesn't work. It doesn't no problem. Work as evidence for God. I know you closed your mind already, but it's no, okay. No. I'm the most open-minded person. In Seems like it. Oh, should should I laugh at people? But but it's it's. No, it's hilarious that someone can say I'm the most open-minded person when just before that you can observe what ha what just happened, right? Uh, it is interesting. Interesting. Human being is interesting. You really say I don't care. So I've been convinced to like hunt predators. I've been convinced to do all crazy kinds of shit because of logical consistency. Does make that makes you an open-minded to to convince yeah, convince to hunt I'm predators? I'm absolutely open-minded. So what if can you define open-minded? You can convince me anything if you have enough logical reasons about it. Uh, what, what, is, what logical reasons? I give you already a, a, you a gave me an argument. argument I didn't find convincing. Okay, why? You, you didn't provide logical reasons. I can think of other reasons why people would have that innate belief. Still, the belief, having it or not, I'm not talking the, why they have the belief. I'm saying the belief has to be true because it's universal amongst everyone. I don't, I don't see why that's the case. Give me some other belief that is universal that is not true. I don't have to do that. But then every universe, every universal belief that we're born with is so far true. Therefore, the universal belief in a creator is also true, regardless of the reasons that you can think of where it came from. It could be the fact. It could be the fact that we all of our innate beliefs are true. I'm saying the reasons no, regardless. Not good okay. Sorry. It could be the case that all of our innate beliefs that we're born with are true. Okay. Not universal but, amongst human beings. Yeah. But there's a hypothetical case where someone is born with an innate belief, and it isn't true. Derive the contradiction. Otherwise, no, otherwise, 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 you're no, but, 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 derive the contradiction. No, you, no, no, but you, you just contradicted contradiction. yourself. I'll tell you, you just contradicted yourself. Can I tell you why? I, I, you, I, I'll tell you. you, 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 you no, no, you, 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 you,